Okay, so this video I'm gonna go over my top five intensity techniques, also called intensifiers. Uh, basically, it's a way to make the workout more intense without necessarily just adding more weight in the bar or using more weight with dumbbells or whatever. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of people in the gym, though, obviously you wanna progress and make progress, but a lot of people will just try to lift heavier every week, and that's not really the best way to build your physique or lose body fat. That's a good way to, you know, you do need to get progressively stronger, but you want to do it without risking injury and you want to do it while isolating the muscle fully. So I'm going to go over my top five intensity techniques. Number one is a, a simple one, supersets. Now a lot of people, a lot of people still, you know, don't know what supersets are. So I'm going to try to explain everything as thorough as possible. And then I'm going to give you an example of each one of these um, intensity techniques. So superset is when you do two exercises back to back with no rest in between. And it can be the same muscle, it can be the uh, different body parts. The example I'm gonna give, and a common superset that I like to include in my plans is for legs, leg extensions with line leg curls. So this gets blood in the front of the thigh and, and the back of the thigh, hamstrings and quads. Um, you know, and with this video, I'm just gonna give examples. You can do supersets, your bicep, tricep, uh, chest and back, you could do it for the same muscle. I could be doing squats with leg extensions, there's literally almost endless possibilities, but the demonstration I'm gonna give in this video is leg extension with lying leg curl. So here we go. And this would be, you would do, you could do four sets of this. It's not just one set necessarily. So we're just gonna start with leg extension. And you know, you would just follow the reps on your plan, 10 to 15, whatever it may call for. Obviously this is just for demonstration purposes. So leg extension. And then I'm not gonna rest any, I'm going to go immediately to line leg curl. and do my set on line leg curls. So we did one set of leg extensions and then one set of line leg curls, no rest in between. Super says when you do two exercises back to back with no rest in between. Great option, great intensity uh, technique to add more intensity to your workouts, get more blood flowing in your muscles. Next we're gonna do drop sets. A drop set is just another intensity technique uh, usually performed on the last set of a given exercise. A drop set is when you perform the last set so you perform the last set and then you lower the weight and do more reps and then you can, that would be a single drop set. A double drop set is when you lower the weight again and do more reps. A triple drop set is when you just repeat that three times. So I'm gonna give you uh, an example of drop sets. We're using pec deck and I'm gonna do, uh, I'll, I'll do all three. I'll do a single drop set example, double drop set example and triple drop set example. So this would be the single drop set example. Just imagine, uh, you know, the exercise or the workout called for four sets by 10 reps. So this is my fourth set and this would be a single drop set. All right, so here we go. So I'm just, I'm using the heaviest weight for the last set. Knocking out 10 reps, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then you're gonna lower the weight. So I'm gonna lower just a couple pins. This will vary from person to person. You wanna lower it so it's lighter, obviously, but you don't want it to be too light where you can just knock out the reps so easy. So I'm gonna lower it. Then I'm gonna knock out, you know, like 10, 10 more reps. Really, you just play this by ear. You want it to get at least a few reps but I'm not even really counting per se. I'm just knocking it out till I get a big pump and then stop. You can also go to failure too, but the idea is just to lower the weight and do more reps. So that was a single drop set, and I'm gonna give you an example of a double and triple drop set just to make sure you know exactly how to perform drop sets. Okay, so a double drop set here. Is just gonna look, it's just gonna look like this. Once again, this you start this on the last set of the exercise or of the workout. 
So you're gonna knock out 10 reps, or 12 or 15, whatever the workout calls for. Lower the weight a couple pins. And then you do more reps. So that would be a single drop, and then I'm gonna lower it again to make it a double drop. So you're just lowering the weight twice. And this is just a way to get more reps in and make your workout more intense without necessarily adding more weight to the bar. So that's a double drop set. Um, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do a triple drop set, but I'm gonna do another exercise uh, to kind of show for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you a different exercise for triple drop set. This is a, just a barbell bench press. And you can do the drop sets on any, any machine, dumbbells, barbell. So a triple drop set is just when you lower the weight three times. So I'm gonna give you an example here to show you exactly how to do a triple drop set. So once again, this will be the last set of exercise. Then you're gonna lower your strip one plate off. So strip a 10 off, and this would be your first drop set. Obviously, if you have a workout partner, it'd be a little easier because you'll have less time to rest or be better. So then you're gonna lower the weight again. So this makes it a double drop set. Just take a plate off, take a 10 off in this instance. So if you were doing dumbbells, you would just go lighter in dumbbells. Or if you're doing a pin loader machine, you just put the pin lighter weight. Simple stuff. and you knock out more reps. So to make it a triple drop set, you just strip off another quarter. This is our third drop, hence the word triple. And then you knock out more reps. So each set of this, I'm doing, you know, like six to eight reps. You really just go do as many as you can. So that's a triple drop set using the barbell bench press as an example. Hope that it made sense. I'll try to make it as easy and clear to follow as possible. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is called rest pause. And this is commonly done on pressing movements. Uh, you know, if you're doing like a bench press or shoulder press. So I'm gonna perform these on the shoulder press, on the plate loaded shoulder press, hammer strength shoulder press. Um, I wouldn't do rest pause on like squats or anything legs. So this just could be too, you know, risky for injury. But on pressing movements, I do like rest pause. Rest pause is when you, I'll explain it, then I'll show you. Rest pause is when you, you know, do your given reps, whatever it calls for, and then when you can't do any more, you know, when you start to fatigue, you're gonna rest 10 seconds and then do more reps. And if you can even do it again, you need to rest 10 seconds and do more reps. So I'm gonna show you here. Um, let's get to it. Okay, so you're gonna knock out the reps. Obviously this is just demonstration purposes. So you start to fatigue. 
and then take a 10 count rest. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're gonna do more reps. So that's the rest portion of the rest pause. Start to fatigue again. You could do a five count. You could do, I would at least do a five count or else you know you're not gonna get any reps. So you're resting, resting. This is all one long set. And do more reps. So you could repeat, you could repeat that as many times as you want. Um, I'd probably stick to only doing it on pressing movements. You know, it really doesn't make much sense to do rest pause in like a bicep curl or something. I would maybe implement other intensity techniques that we're gonna go over, but uh, that's rest pause. I really like it on shoulder press. You can do it on Smith Machine or bench press is great too. Um, and this one was a plate loaded shoulder press machine. Rest, pause. Okay, so our next intensity technique is called partial reps. And this is something a huge mistake I see in the gym with a lot of people. So partial reps, I'm demonstrating them with uh, barbell curl curls, but partial reps are when you get fatigued and then you just cut your range down. You do partial reps, half reps, or whatever you wanna call them. You know, if you see a lot of my videos, people will say, oh bro, you're not going full range. No, yeah, I know I'm not going full range, that's the point. Partial reps is when you are towards the end of a set and you wanna do more reps, but you wanna keep isolating the muscle. You don't want to work secondary muscles. So I'm going to show you the, the wrong way to continue doing reps and I'll show you the right way. I'm going to demonstrate it on curls, but I also love partial reps on uh, chest, shoulders, uh, bench press movements, um, pretty much anything but legs. I wouldn't do a lot of, a lot of these intensity techniques, I'd be careful with legs just because you're going to risk injury. Um, or supersets and, and drop sets maybe are okay. But anyways, let's go to partial reps. So partial reps. So you're gonna do your normal reps, normal range of motion. Okay, normal range. And then you get fatigued. And a lot of people, when they get fatigued, they'll you know start swinging like this to do anything they can to get the weight up. You don't wanna do that. You wanna start doing partial reps, which all it is is just right here. You just go high, you just don't go as high up. You go as far as your body allows whilst keeping your form super strict. You see what I'm doing there? So instead of going like this, just to move the weight, you knock out your full reps, and then once you fatigue, boom, boom, boom. Partial reps or half reps. Uh, I'm actually gonna demonstrate on bench press too, because this is something that drives me crazy. I see a lot of people do. Uh, so I'm gonna put it on my leg right here and do bench press. So I'm gonna use this bar for bench press. This could be on dumbbell press either. So this is partial reps on dumbbell or bench press. And you wanna implement partial reps whenever you start to get fatigued. So once again, I'm gonna show you what most people do and I'm gonna show you the right way to do it. So most people knock out the reps and then once they start to struggle to get the weight, they'll go like this. Obviously I'm exaggerating, but you know, they'll do whatever they can to move the weight. And then their partner will let them struggle you don't want to do that. Do not do that. You want to do partial reps. So once you, you're doing your full range, start to struggle, all you do is boom, 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 boom. And then if you have a partner, let them lift, you know, lift the bar up. But you don't want to, you don't want to use your whole body to muster up the weight. You just cut your range down. And even, obviously this is extremely lightweight. This is just an example. And even moving that bar or dumbbell half an inch, it's still pushing blood to the muscle you're trying to work, not hurting your joints or anything like that. So that's partial reps, half reps. That's probably the biggest mistake I see with people in the gym. They try to use all these other muscles to move the weight when all they gotta do is cut the range down. But the reason they're not cutting the range down is because they think it's wrong to do short reps. It's just, I don't know why, people weren't taught the right way. But you need to do partial reps whenever you start to get fatigued. Okay, our next intensity technique is called giant sets. A giant set is when you do three exercises, three or more exercises back to back to back with no rest in between. Uh, this is typically done 
on any body part really, but especially for like smaller body parts, shoulders and arms, when you're really not trying to go heavy anyways, since it's a smaller muscle and you don't want to risk injury by going super heavy. So I'm going to give the example on shoulders. I'm going to do a giant set of dumbbell shoulder press with uh, dumbbell lateral raise and bent over, or bent over rear raise. So this is going to work your front head of your shoulder, side and rear. Uh, once again, this is just demonstration purposes. You can do a giant set you know, on several different exercises. I'm just showing you exactly what it is. So here we go. So that's your first exercise, and then you're immediately going to go to the next exercise. So no rest in between. That was the second exercise, and then you're immediately going to go into the third exercise, which is going to be bent over dumbbell rows. No one's going to, it's just an example. You can do any exercise you want. This is just what I'm choosing to show you guys. So that was a giant set, three or more exercises back to back to back with no rest in between.